shot up another video. Today is Thursday, so we're doing Throwback Thursday today. And I am doing it with uh, Jennifer, with Jennifer Loves Makeup, and Christine with uh, Life with Christine, the Glam Gals. So, before we get started, though, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. So happy that you're here. So, what is Throwback Thursday? Well, probably by now you know, but if you don't, if you don't, it is where you take palettes that you have had for a long time that you haven't used in a long time, and you use those. Or maybe you might have some palettes that are new or new that you've gotten and you've never used. And you want to use them. Give them some love. That's how I look at it. Well, today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a palette that I've gotten recently. Haven't had a chance to use it. And with my knee injury the way it is, I have to kind of film when I can. <laughs> and so, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone today. I'm going to fill it, have a new palette and I'm going to use it today as my throwback Thursday. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. And what is that palette, you say? Well, it is the new Nomad Fuji Five Lakes palette. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I swatched that yesterday for you. I told you look was coming soon, and here it is. It's gonna be today. <laughs> and this is the palette we're gonna use. So what am I gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. The blues and the gold and the yellowy golds are kind of calling it to me, and I know I'm not a blue person, right? But we're gonna do it today, I think. So let's just get started, shall we? All right, let's go for it. We're gonna start off with this one here, Mount Fuji. I'm gonna put that in my transition. Oh, and I do have on my base, which we'll talk about in a little while, and I have on my Anastasia eye primer today. Got that on. Uh, yeah, so let's put that on. Oop, close that up. So how are you guys doing? How are you doing? What's your weather like? You know, I always ask about that weather, right? Well, last week was nice. This week is stinking hot again. It's back up 100 plus. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm ready for fall. Okay, it's got some light. So, yeah, so my knee was getting better. Well, and then dumb, stupid me, I decided to go out Saturday for lunch, which, you know, okay, that wouldn't be bad if you just did the one time, right, the one day. Well, then I go out again on Sunday for lunch, you know. And by Sunday afternoon, yeah, my knee wasn't feeling so great again. So, yep, so back in the brace. All right, that's that. Let's do another color. So now what I want to do, I'm going to darken up. What do I want to do now? Okay, I think. I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to go with that, put that in my crease. I can find the brush that I want to use. Well, hold on. Oh, there it is. Let's just put some of that in the crease and see what that looks like. So, yeah. So, that's where I'm at. I can't do a whole lot. Can do some filming, not a lot. It's either film, like today, it's either film or do my hair. So this is my hair. <laughs> Cause I wanted to get, I really wanted to use this palette and film. And I actually have through the, the, the last four, this one and then three more that they've come out with. Oh, I got them all at the same time. Yeah, I did. Do some blending. Where's my little blendy hat? There we go. I'm gonna use this one. So yeah. So are you guys ready for fall? I am. If you saw my Bath and Body Works um, 
fall, you know I'm ready for fall. <laughs> fall is my favorite season. It would have to, it is my favorite season of all. I love the colors, the smells, the the scents, the smells, the taste of some of fall. It is my favorite. I like summer, but I don't love summer. Cuz it's just too hot for here for me. Okay, so we kind of got that going on. A little bit more here. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're going to deepen up that outer corner with this mount, whatever that's called, but this darker blue here. I'm gonna deepen that up. Uh, use this brush, I think. And we all know that blue is way out of my comfort zone, but you know what? I'm trying, I'm learning to embrace it a little more, right? Now, I'm not gonna lie, I probably wouldn't wear this look if I was going out somewhere. Now, I might wear it if it was a nighttime event. I don't know, but during the day, I would not. Just wanna kinda of put a little bit right there just to kind of give that some depth, because if you, oops, here versus here, it gives it a little bit of depth. At least that's what I think. <laughs> Over here, I'm just kind of tap, tap, tapping it. But I do have, of course I have pitted eyes and I have crinkly eyes. Ugh. I've tried different things to, um, I can't sit at my makeup desk right now because my with my knee, I just can't do it. So I'm trying to do the best we can here. Okay, now let's do some blending. Anyway, so I've tried oh, I've tried a bunch of different different things for my eyelids. I can't use retinol, so that's out of the question. But I have um, you know tried other things that are supposed to help. Mm, they help with the dryness, but they don't really do much for the for the crepiness. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. This is probably not the best job I could do because my knee is hurting, starting to hurt. So I'm trying to hurry a little bit here with it. All right, let's go on. Let's go in with, now I wanted to use this Hmm. Let's go in with this golden ginkgo right here. I'm gonna put that on the lid. And I think I'm gonna use my finger for that. I'm not gonna cut my crease today because yeah, I'm just not. I'm gonna put that on the lid. So yeah. So I really haven't been doing a lot. Just keeping my leg propped up mostly, trying to stay off my feet as much as I can. I really don't, I really want it to heal. And I, you know, I have osteoarthritis, so yeah, I'm gonna have problems here and there. But I don't want it to get any worse than what it is. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So pretty. That's pretty, I like that color. All right, let's do the other eye. And of course my eyes are never gonna be the same. I cannot get them the same on both sides. But you know, that's okay. I wear glasses and I can make a little difference. <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that's not what I intended to do. That's pretty. All right, let me do some blending. Okay. All right. Hmm. Not the blue's not doing what I want it to do, but I'm trying to hurry, so that might be why. All right, let's go in. 
think here, now I'm gonna, mm, what am I gonna do now? I think on the inner part of my, on this part here, I'm gonna go in with this Diamond Fuji right here. I really wanna use that color. So let's just see what it does, what it looks like. Not bad. All right. Now let's go back in with that um, Mount Fuji, that first color that I used, and put a little bit more of that back in. Kind of see if we can smooth out those edges just a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go off and finish up the eyes and come back and then we'll talk about it. Okay, I am back, and this is my finished look, what I could get done today. <laughs> my knee was hurting, so that's what I got did. I don't think it looks too bad. I'm not real happy with this right here, but, you know, if I had, yeah. But it doesn't look bad, though. What do you think? Let me know. Let me know what you think, guys. All right, so I finished up my eyes, so I, you know, I did not do an inner corner highlight. Not going to worry about it today, but anyway, I took the... This mount, this dark blue, and I kind of went about halfway on the lid, under the lid. I used it on the top of my lids. And then I took this color here, which I cannot, Yamanako, Yamanakako, I don't know. This blue shimmer, and I kind of went, and I went under here with the rest of it. So that's what I did. Then for my, uh, under the brow area, I used a little bit of this Diamond Fuji. Under that, a little, kind of blend out those harsh edges. Then I just used some mascara. What did I do with it? Oh, I didn't use my uh, L'Oreal Eyelash Primer today. I just used my, the KVD Full Sleeve Mascara, which I actually like, and it's a tubey mascara. I like that. And I do have a coupon for that. Yeah, I need to, I think I'm gonna have to get me some of but I do like it, so I use that. Then for my brows, all I did was something. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, my Anastasia um, Brow Definer in Taupe. I just used that. A little bit of that on my brows. That's really all I did to the brows. Then that's the eyes. Now let's do the base. So for my primer today, I used the Ciate London Watermelon Butters Hydrating Primer. Use that. Then I used, for my foundation, I used the Revolution Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation in F2, which I actually like that. Probably could have put a second coat on, but that's okay. You know, I'm not going anywhere, so that's fine. Use that. Then for, I didn't use a bronzer today, but blush wise, I started off with this 
Uh, Maybelline Sun Kisser Blush in 01 Downtown Rush. Did that, and then I put on my Bare Minerals Original Veil uh, Setting Powder in Sheer Light. And then I went on top of that with a blush with the Laura Geller uh, bl Baked Blush in Brighton in Tropic Hues. That one. That's what I did. Then for highlighter, I used my Jaclyn um, highlighter in Mesmerized. Used a little bit of that. I use it here, here, nose, and the cupid bow. You can see it, yeah, you can see it. Then for my lippy, all I did was just do a lip gloss. I used a Maybelline um, Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid in 05 Taffy. Just use that. And voila, this is what I did. <laughs> Let me in the comments down below, what do you think? I mean, it's not too bad. For somebody who's hurting, it's not too bad, I'm gonna say. I could have done a little better probably here. That's okay. That's all right. All right. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to go check out Jennifer and Christine's uh, videos. I will link their channels in the description below. And yeah. And don't forget to share with your friends. And give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind. It really helps the channel. All right, guys. Until we meet again. Take care. Bye.